To draw this cute little rat, you're going to need a pencil, an eraser, a black pen, some white paper, and a ruler. We're going to start off our rat using a ruler, and we're going to be drawing a diagonal line, just lightly in pencil. Now I'm going to shift this ruler, just keeping the same angle to the right hand side. There we go. I'm going to draw another line, just parallel to the one that we did before. Now I'm going to be joining them up, round about there, with a line like that. I'm just going to erase the little leftover bits down here. And then I'm going to draw the tail, which is just a line just coming downwards like that. Now I'm going to add the feet, so just here, coming downwards, a line, and to the right hand side. And coming out from this corner, I'm just going to draw a line coming out to the right hand side. You may think this doesn't look much like a rat, but it will, I promise. Now, up here, we're going to be drawing a oval shape, so there we go. It doesn't have to be perfect, just like a rough oval shape, just like this. You see? Now I'm going to join this oval shape up to the rectangle shape, or sort of rectangle, up to one of the parallel lines. Now I'm going to add the little muzzle for the rat. So, there we go. And the little eye. And then down, coming downwards from this little patch there, we're going to be drawing a line coming downwards diagonally, and then to the right hand side, and then down. Okay, I'm going to switch to pen, but please carry on in pencil. It's just so that you can see it better on camera. I'll let you know when to switch to pen. So I'm going to start off with the ear. We don't have one yet, so just starting about here, we're going to add in an ear. Here we go, so just a shape like this. Okay, now we're going to start the rat's head. So coming upwards, I'm going to follow these preparatory lines that we did before. And then the little nose comes inwards and goes outwards for the cheeks. Comes round like that. I'm going to colour in a little bit there and draw a little line around there. So we're going to carry on the head, which comes round like this. And then we're going to join this line that we did before. It's going to come all the way down until we hit this long line there. Now we're going to join the eye. So I've got these little beady eyes. Just a shape like that. Then I'm going to leave a couple of gaps without colouring in, just to show that there's some light reflecting off it. So just like that. I'm going to add some dots here in a line and another line underneath and one more line there that's going to be for the whiskers so we'll come back and do the whiskers at the end i'm now going to carry on with the head so just coming up round here and a couple of furry lines and then the other ear is just poking out from behind this ear there we go if you've made it this far you are doing so so well so let's get on with the front little paws. So starting about here, we're going to come down and we're going to follow this line that we did before. So it's going to come out just like this. We're going to have one little paw, well, one little digit there, another little digit there, and another one there. And then some furry lines coming downwards. And then coming round, all the way around. I'm just using little dots here just to show that it's quite furry. Just like that. I'm going to draw the other little arm just peeking out from behind here. Now for the tummy. So, coming down here. Tummy's coming all the way down, all the way down. And then we're going to go, we're going to veer slightly inwards here. I'm going to go slightly higher and come all the way down till I hit the bottom of that rectangular shape. Then I'm going to carry on with these little dashes going upwards like that. Now for the back, so I'm going to carry on with longer dashes here. And then when you get to about here, we're going to just go inwards a little bit. 
and then bring it round just like that. They don't quite touch, but now we're just going to draw the tail. Just like that. And now for the wonderful long tail. So the Basavi woolly rat is believed to be the biggest rat and that's more than 81 centimeters, which is 32 inches long. And that includes the tail. Imagine coming face to face with one of those. There we go. So this line goes through the middle of the foot. So I'm just going to start over here. There we go. And the little toes, tiny weeny little toes, so cute. I actually think they're really cute. There we go. I know a lot of people don't like rats. Leave me a comment in the comment section below if you've got a rat as a pet. There we go. Now we're going to draw the other leg, which is just slightly higher. So, just going to draw the other leg with these dashed lines coming down to there, and then we're just going to follow that line that we did before. So it's just coming out like this. There we go. So there are so many rats because they breed so quickly and they begin breeding at about five weeks of age and then they continue until they're about two years old. Okay, I'm just drawing this leg. And then it comes inwards. So pregnancy usually lasts about three weeks and then the litter size ranges from six to 20 babies. Gosh, can you imagine having that many babies? <laughs> there we go. So if you haven't gone over it in pen already, go over it in pen now and then erase all the pencil marks. Okay, I've erased all the pencil lines now. We're going to add some details. So how about these whiskers? So just long wispy lines like this, just to show the whiskers. We've got loads of whiskers. We're not going to draw all of them, but we're just going to give the impression of lots of whiskers there. Okay, now we're going to add some shadow. So just underneath here, I'm just going to start adding some diagonal lines, just like this. Give the impression of shadow, just like that. And then a couple of lines just underneath here. some markings around the eyes just like that make it look a little bit more furry inside the ears obviously there we go behind the ears and definitely behind the ears here it's really very dark and then on the back all the way down all the way down there we go All this area, particularly down here. So rats are famous for being able to chew through things. So even things like soft concrete, aluminium, wood and plastic. And they chew because their teeth never stop growing. So it's to prevent them from becoming too long. So they have to keep on continuously gnawing on things. Okay, I'm just going to do some shading on the inside of this leg as well. And underneath here, we're not going to do too much shading. You'll be glad to know. Just a little bit more underneath here, I think. And then obviously underneath the tail, just to make it look three-dimensional. So I'm, I'm using curved lines here. So lots of little curved lines, just on the underneath of the tail. Getting smaller and smaller towards the tip of the tail. All the way along. And then, last but not least, we've got to add some ground. So some shadow underneath here. Also, I'm just going to make this a little bit more furry down here. There we go. There we go.
And here we have our finished wrap drawing. Thank you so much to the person who requested this one. And if you've enjoyed this one, check out this video here. You're going to absolutely love it. So don't forget to hit subscribe and like, and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye-bye.